Hey everyone, it's Raj from 3CB. The Lakers most recently officially hired Lindsey Harding to be an assistant coach on JJ Redick's staff. Her hiring is a little more unknown compared to the previous two hires, Scotty Brooks and Nate McMillan, who have both been head coaches in the NBA. So now for Harding, let's go through three key things. Firstly, I'll touch on her background and qualifications. Secondly, her connection with JJ Redick. And thirdly, what she brings to the staff. So her background, she played at Duke during her college years and in 2007 won basically every major national award, including college player of the year, and then was drafted by the Phoenix Mercury. She played the WNBA for nine years. Her coaching pedigree began 2018-19 season where she was a player development coach with the 76ers. And then she moved on to Sacramento Kings, where from 2019 to 2023, she started off as player development coach and scout, and then officially became assistant coach in 2023. After that point, in June of 23, she took over as head coach of their G League affiliate, the Stock Taken Kings. And she had a great season with the team. The team pretty much blew out every team in the normal season, but then lost in the conference finals, and she was crowned as G League Coach of the Year. As a friend of mine who knows about her background said, if her name was Jim Stephopoulos, she'd be considered as a very hot assistant coach in the current market. Further, she has some international coaching experience as well. She was the head coach of South Sudan women's team in 2021, and then also of the Mexico women's team in 2023. Now you might be wondering, even with all this background, you know, where did this hiring really come from? She has a connection with JJ Redick back from their Duke days. They've been tight ever since. And even in 2020, there was a tweet from JJ who was asked about who should be the next Duke head coach. And he tweeted out that, why don't you take a look at Lindsey Harding? So there's clearly some relationship there and comfort level between them. Lastly, what does she bring to the Lakers coaching staff? In my opinion, there's multiple key positives that she brings. Firstly, as a relatively recent player and having coached in both the pros and the G League, she has an ability to speak to players, understand their psyches, and really understand that pathway as well, especially for players who are developing. And that's a big emphasis now for the Lakers who are really trying to engender and foster that development of players they currently have on the roster. Secondly, she clearly is tight with Jada Redick and that comfort level comes with an honesty and candidness to be able to say things to a coach that other people may not be able to. And JJ seems like the guy based on everything he said and talked about who wants that honest feedback. And she will be able to bring that due to that tight knit relationship they have where it's not gonna be personal, it's just gonna be them going back and forth, really being able to make each other better. Thirdly, last but not least, she's been exposed to many different leads and ways of thinking at different levels. And that always brings with it a level of perspective and an ability to bring new ideas and dynamicism to a team. And then that's gonna be critical for any coaching staff to have members on their staff who can bring fresh ideas and new approaches. And that is especially important when it comes to the microscope and pressure of a Lakers job, where it's really, really easy due to that pressure to turtle up and really dig your heels in. But with her exposure to so many different variables and environments, I think that will really help her navigate the roller coaster that is the Lakers coaching experience. 